hey, look at me when I talk to you. Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> Bien, so, no. <laughs> Bien. <laughs> she, 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 you. When should I start using anti-aging products? What made you start YouTube? What products should everyone have in their skincare routine? Hi guys, as you can see, today's video is going to be a little different. On your demand and request, I'm finally going to make a video with my cat. Say hi everyone, this is Nirino. Say hi Nirino. Hi. Basically, he's 13 years old, but in cat years, that's about like 50 more in his 60s. So he's basically a grandpa, okay? We're here with a grandpa. So please everyone, let's not make our dirty jokes that we usually do. Let's behave, because he's a little bit old school also. He doesn't know that I'm gay. He wouldn't be he wouldn't be able to bear it if he would know. As you can see, he's very uncomfortable on camera. Now, as you... Oh, no, no, Nidhi, no. <laughs> okay, so basically, today's video idea is basically going to be making Nidhi, no, choose my skincare routine. Of course, he has no idea of what products can be mixed, what products can't be mixed. I have also thrown in a few products that I really hate and I hope he won't choose. And while I'm doing my routine decided by my cat, I'm also going to be answering your skincare questions and other questions that you have about me. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, by the way, if you're not following me yet, sis, what are you doing? Why are you wasting? your time. What you need to do right now is follow me on my Instagram. Also, I just opened my TikTok, which is at Matt Randon as well. So honestly, follow me on there as well and we can just bond overall. Then literally every social media platform you open, I'm gonna be there for a friend and we can and you can literally see me 24 seven. Isn't that like your biggest dream ever? Cause I know it is. Cause like, you cannot get enough of me on here on YouTube. So of course, you're welcome. Now you can see me on Instagram and on TikTok. Honestly, I'm so selfless. Nirino, literally, hey, look at me when I talk to you. Don't be disrespectful. He doesn't even look at me. Nirino, look at me. So rude. Oh my God, this is literally us 24-7. Nirino, my skin is in your hands. My skin is my moneymaker. And as you can see, my moneymaker right now is not at its best. We're going through a little bit of a breakout. Last night, I used lactic acid and salicylic acid. So chemical exfoliators. It would be nice if you were not to pick them again because otherwise my skin would die, okay? Let's get into it. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have four cleansers lined up right here and basically I have this little disgusting stick that he really likes as you can see and hopefully the first cleanser that he knocks down or that he sniffs on is going to be the one that I'm gonna use. Now, this I really hate and this is meh, but I really like this one. So hopefully he'll choose that one. I'm gonna put a little on each cleanser to see which one he sniffs. You have to, you have to bear it with him because he's 13 years old so he's a little old. Come on, come on. Ooh, yeah, the foaming cleanser. No, 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 not the Jeju, not the Jeju one. Oh my God, no, he went with that one. The second step in the routine is going to be toners, as you can see now, you know. I used to like this one, but now I really don't because it really stings my face and it's too strong. And I really like these two, specifically this one. But knowing him, he's gonna choose something else for sure. Come on, I'm gonna put a little here as always. Don't you dare choose the other one that I don't like because you're gonna sabotage me, Nidhi. No, no, no. Come on, no, not there, there's nothing there. Come on, choose one, preferably the, the blue one. Feel free to choose whatever, but not the yellow. Oh my God, he's about to pick. No! Oh my God! Did you know, what, do you realize what the aim of the game is? You have to pick the ones that I like, okay? Like, not this one, oh my goodness. Okay guys, we're going with the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution then. Okay guys, now knowing my luck and how it's gone so far, this is the most dangerous step because these are the serums. Now as you can see, I have salicylic acids, lactic acids, chemical exfoliators, vitamin C's, retinols, I have peptides, and as you know, not all of them can be mixed together, but whatever Nirino chooses, then I guess I'm gonna have to put on. Dai, Nirino! Su! Su! Su, vieni! <laughs> oh, okay, well, should we call, shall we count this? We, we shall count this then. This is, oh my god, a vitamin C. Okay, okay, Nirino, come on. Oh, okay, this one too. Great. This is the plant-based collagen ampoule. All right. Bien. So, no. Bien. Shit. you. Look. Look how much beautiful, disgusting paste you have for you. He's also a little bit blind, guys, so you have to know. Knock one down with the... Feel free to knock one down. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. 
Oh, okay. And then let's put others here. No. By the way, the one that he picked was the Ionique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. So it's basically another antioxidant-based serum. So it's going to be a nighttime routine with many antioxidants tonight. Oh my goodness, a, a salicylic acid, Dorito, you're gonna kill my skin. Yeah? Oh, okay, this, oh, 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 no, 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 we're not, oh, okay. <laughs> so now you're deciding. Okay, okay, so he went with the Matrixel 10%. Okay guys, so now it's the moisturizer steps after five serums. Now y'all know that I'm the moisturizer queen. Just one won't be enough. For normal people it would, but for me, no. I'm gonna go grab Nidino because he's literally there just do minding his own business and not cooperating. Like, Nidino, you're, you're supposed to be a star. Do you not wanna be a, a celebrity of the camera? We don't, yeah, feel free to choose the aloe vera gel. I really like this one, do you know? Or the nature, the plant-based one or the Maison, or the Olay, Nidino, you know, come here. Come on, look at him. This is how I have to go for it. <laughs> come on. Pick one. Pick, 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 pick. Right. Pick. Block, 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 block. Affer, block, block. He's purring. He's enjoying it, apparently. Okay, okay, he touched the aloe vera gel. This is officially counting as one. Thank God, because my skin is gonna need soothing from the salicylic acid and the vitamin C's and the peptides that he chose. Oh, yes, the natural moisturizing factors by the ordinary. And then another one, just the third one, because the aloe vera gel does not count as a moisturizer as I taught you guys. Okay, oh, yes, yes. Yes, oh, I feel like this counts, doesn't it? Look at him, he's literally sniffing on the CeraVe. I feel like this counts. Okay, thankfully he was sparing and he saved me with the moisturizer step. <sighs> but you guys, here we have a routine. I literally cannot, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so the first step of the routine is going to be the Innisfree Gentle Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam by Innisfree. I, as you know, I love this one. I'm totally kidding. I hate it to death. So I'm really going to use it very quick, just like a bad day. Rip it off real quick. As you can see, by the way, my skin is truly going through a breakout. Like pimples right here. Pimple, huge one right here. I'm going to pop this one, by the way, even though you should not. Now, you guys, if you haven't seen my review on this, the reason why I don't like this is because it has these little red pebbles in it as you can see and it does give you the slightest bit of exfoliation but what I don't like is that it stinks like crazy on your eyes oh my god the smell guys it truly smells like a public restroom it really smells like a public restroom <laughs> it smells like a public restroom <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna make the most out of this and tell you guys that you actually have to massage it in your skin Every cleanser by the way for 30 seconds or so to really get the good ingredients or in this case the bad one In your skin so your skin can soak it up Also the cleanser has a chance to remove impurities to remove excess sebum in case it's a foaming cleanser or to hydrate If you are using a hydrating cleanser or in this case just to make your skin worse if you're using a worsening cleanser <laughs> Hopefully Innis3 won't see this video. Okay guys, so here I am, all cleansed. As you can see, I had a little quick change of outfits and I put on this little cute bandana with this little cute top. My mom always makes fun of me when I put on a bandana because she says that I literally look like a housewife of the 1600s that goes to wash her clothes in the river and she literally sings me a song. I'm going to start answering your skincare questions and questions that you have about me in no particular order. The first one, while I'm starting with my toner, with this Skin and look how damaged it is. The first question is going to be from Lenaki, and she actually asks, What do you do when I have a lot of closed pores? This is such a relevant question, and that is literally going to be using AHAs and BHAs. So, in this case, what I'm using right now, AHAs like lactic acid, glycolic acid, are truly going to exfoliate your top layer of your skin and truly glowing up. This is why I don't like it because it stings so much, especially if you just popped a pimple like I did. It extremely stings. In Lord Jesus' name, pray amen. Ah! Basically, by using AHAs and BHAs, like also salicylic acid, which I will have to use later, you are basically going to chemically exfoliate your skin, therefore really purify it and get rid of any dirt, any excess sebum. And also, by the way, guys, as you can see, I'm not using a cotton pad. I know y'all always comment down below. I see, I see you saying, oh my 
god, you're supposed to use a cotton pad. No, okay, no, because I am here to save the turtles. I'm here to save the environment, okay? I'm just like Paris Hilton. Everything on me was found inside the stomachs of sea turtles. So sad. Plastic bottles are poisoning our planet. And that's why I've decided to invent a miracle that will cure the world. Follow me. Why? Use cotton pads, which is a waste when you can use your normal hands that God gave you. That's what you gotta do. By the way, the excess toner, you can literally just put it on your hands and whether it be a toner that is moisturizing, you're gonna moisturize your hands. If it is an AHA toner, guess what? AHAs like lactic acid or glycolic acid are amazing for your hands. If you have any dark spots, pigmentation, or hand acne, AHAs like lactic acid specifically are going to be amazing for that. But essentially, as I was saying, you can use them twice three times a week and truly they're a lot better than physical scrubs because those can be a little bit too harsh for your skin these are going to be a lot more gentle if you know how to use them okay so moving on it's time to apply the serums I don't know which order but while I'm deciding what order I'm gonna apply these um, I'm going to answer a personal question regarding me this is from skin skin che I'm sorry if I butchered your name what made you start YouTube okay so here's the thing basically I just came to the realization that I had no special talent or skills in life that I really didn't know anything about anything really and so logically the only thing that I could do was become an influencer and start a YouTube channel because that is what people with no talent do <laughs> But yeah, no jokes aside, honestly, starting YouTube was the best decision ever just because I love it so much. It is so fun. It really does not seem like a job, even though I started earning money from this. So it's really nice. But truly, like, I'm doing something that I love, skincare, teaching you guys how to prevent aging, how to treat your skin and look young forever. Also, entertainment. I always knew that I was supposed to become an entertainer. And basically, that's what I'm doing right now. Before starting YouTube, I had no idea what I wanted to do in life now. I know I want to do YouTube as a thing. I want to, you know, inspire people to take care of their skin because trust me, even though all us randoms, we are very crazy about skincare because you're literally following me. But there's so many much more people my age, but also older that are not into skincare. And so my personal calling in life is to get everyone in skincare and get everyone into anti-aging because truly we all have to be beauties and we all have to prevent aging. But anyways, my skin is not damp anymore because I'm literally just blabbering. So I'm literally taking this water bottle and apply that was a little too much water oh my god it went on my phone this is not going well Ciao. anyway so now that the floor is wet but guys I'm dampening my skin because damp skin actually absorbs so much more of any ingredient that you actually apply on it just think of your skin like a sponge basically a sponge when wet or damp is a lot more able to just absorb water whereas if it's dry it really doesn't work as well and so is your skin I also want to say to anyone who's thinking of starting a YouTube channel I totally recommend you do guys it is so much fun as I already said it gives you so much more confidence once you get used to just talking to the camera and trust me it is very hard to my randoms who have submitted their videos for me to react to their skin routine you would know how hard it is to talk in front of the camera and also you never know where it can take you like honestly you could start earning money from them from a passion a hobby that you have like for example me of skincare are you kidding and on top of that for me specifically I don't have a lot of friends in real life like yeah, and so truly I have you guys I have, I have built a community of people that like me except me for me Not only for me being gay because that's honestly fine Like at this point basically everyone in the Western world thankfully accepts me and my kind However, I'm saying just my craziness and my personality since I'm very out there and just very crazy My personality does not mesh well with a lot of people. Let me tell you that So I'm happy to have you guys and honestly, I feel like we're just you're not just my subscribers You're kind of like my friends I DM a lot of you on Instagram and we literally have full-on conversations and I appreciate you so much now I'm gonna move on to another skincare question of yours and it's going to be when should I start using anti-aging products this is an amazing question you guys the only anti-aging product that my cat has chosen for me today is going to be the time stop collagen ample one. Oh, and also the ordinary matrixel 10% this is a peptide I love it because if you didn't know peptides basically stimulate collagen production in your skin and truly collagen is the building blocks along with elastin to keep our skin youthful plump rejuvenated and wrinkle free and so truly matrixel 3000 which is the peptide in this is one of the most researched and honestly the one that has been proven to be 
be the most effective right now because peptides are still quite new to the scene. And guys, even though I love me a good old retinol, retinol has actually been around more than 50 years. Retinol is the king of anti-aging. You know, kings, every king has to die sooner or later. Apart from Queen Elizabeth, she will never die. She is basically just like a mummy at this point. <laughs> she's huge, but she's so beautiful. She's a mammoth, of course. And she has blonde hair. And, you know, she does really cute stuff with her hair. She does her lashes. She loves wearing mascara. And she just, you know, she's cutesy. And truly, I feel like the new heir of the throne of anti-aging is going to be peptides. And also, other peptides like this one from the plant base does contain peptides. This one from a fungi that I don't remember of, but it's also very good and very nourishing. I'm gonna go with the Ionique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. Why not? This is basically containing a lot of antioxidants like propolis and also fig extract, which does contain vitamin C in it. Now, as far as when is the best age to start using them, a lot of skincare gurus will tell you that officially you should start using them at 25 because that is when your collagen production actually starts to dip down and decrease and therefore you need to start supplementing it with anti-aging products but as I always say the morning after pill is never going to be as effective as a vasectomy as wearing a condom as prevention so preventing is always better than treating and if you were to start using them at 25 that would be already considered kind of like treating so I personally would say when you're 20 go ahead and start yourself on a retinol and anti-aging products. Do you need them when you're 18? You're younger than that? I honestly see on my TikTok so many younger people like 16 year old getting worried about wrinkles. You guys, no, don't worry about that. If you see a wrinkle and you're under 20, I always say it, it's not aging wrinkles. It is dehydration wrinkles. There's a completely different thing. Dry skin, if not moisturized correctly, can look very crepey, very dull, and very wrinkly and old. Anyways, moving on while well, I'm applying the Plant Based Time Stop Collagen Ample. By the way, if you don't know the Plant Based, it's kind of like low-key brand, but I love it. I also have recently tried the Bamboo Mask from them. It's amazing, the whole entire line. They also have a hyaluronic acid and ceramide serum like this one, and they're amazing. I really recommend them on YesStyle. If you do want to buy them, I have a code for you. It's code RANDOMS to save money off your purchase. But anyways, the question is from Simply Tea Time Logical, and she asks, what drugs have you done because you two crazy <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying guys like honestly the shocking thing is I'm under no effect of any substances apart from my own craziness the only addiction that I have is skincare and plastic surgeries and I feel like those are quite healthy addictions no matter what my mom says yes they are very expensive and I do spend a lot, but still, they're a lot better because they don't actually make you age. They actually prevent you from aging. And after all, why are we on this earth if not to look the prettiest for the longest that we can? We're not here to be happy. We're not here to build a family. We're not here to help others or help people. What we're on this earth for is to be the prettiest that we can. And that is truly the best lesson that I have learned. <laughs> You guys, I'm totally kidding, of course. I have to disclaim this because some of you don't get me when I'm joking. But honestly, there is something meaningful that I want to tell you from this comment. Yes, 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 there is, yes, there is. What I want to tell you is that honestly, be yourself. The whole entire message in my channel, apart from yes, take care of your skin, blah, 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 yada, 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 skincare. It's also be random, always be random. And my bio on my Instagram is I recommend you lose your mind. It was the only thing keeping me behind. And that essentially means don't care of whatever people think. Don't care of what they think of how you dress. Don't care of what they think of how you act. Don't care of what they think of how you look. Honestly, just be you. Lose your mind. Go against the grain. Go against the standards that society has put upon us. And even if it goes down to you looking crazy to other people, losing your mind to other people, you would be so happy. Like, literally, people think I'm crazy. Like, truly. No, no, no. Like, I'm serious. Lana, serious? No, people think I'm crazy. But honestly, I'm the happiest I've ever been because I'm happy with myself and that is truly all that matters happiness comes from within if you are seeking happiness from someone else in your life if you're seeking approval for someone else in your life that is a red flag what you should do is actually think of why you're seeking validation from anyone else that is in yourself is it because you're not happy with something in your life with something that is going on with you right now think of what is going on what is giving you insecurity for you to be needing validation from someone else and try to work on it so yeah if you want to take anything from this 
this is I recommend you lose your mind. It was the only thing keeping you behind. Another skincare question is going to be from Strat Sewer V. Oh my, we go on uni together. I feel like we've been on a course in the same course, have we not? But anyway, she goes to my same uni. Hi, babe, love you. And she asks, what products should everyone have in their skincare routine? No matter if you have dry skin, oily skin, blue skin, alien skin, whatever skin type you might have, what you are going to need is, of course, an antioxidant, whether it be a vitamin C, like for example, this one from The Ordinary. Yes, Corbal Trisopalmitate Solution 20% of vitamin C. Book me now. Book me now. Definitely need retinol. You definitely also need chemical exfoliators, like whether it be a salicylic acid if you have oily, acne prone skin, or a, preferably a lactic acid if you have dry skin. I also do recommend for good measure a peptide, like the Matrixel, as I already said, as well as a moisturizer for sure, and a sunscreen, and a very good cleanser, perfect for your skin type. So whether it be a hydrating one for dry skin types, or a foaming one for oily skin type. By the way, I'm going to cheat the system a little bit now. I... But please allow me because you see the state of my skin. If I apply salicylic acid, I, as you can see, I've literally been stalling and I've been applying other stuff before getting to this because my skin is super dry, super irritated, and super just flaming. If I apply this, which I have applied yesterday night as well, two nights in a row of chemical exfoliation, that is too much. So I'm going to cheat the system in order to not make my skin bleed. I'm going to be applying a hyaluronic acid. And by the way, guys, what you can learn from this tip is basically if your skin is red, inflamed, irritated, Irritated, you have a damaged skin barrier, what you can do is use a hyaluronic acid and a lot of moisturizers as well to soothe your skin. Hyaluronic acid basically dilutes whatever skincare ingredient that you use. Also, if something is too strong, you can literally mix it in with hyaluronic acid and it's going to make it not less effective, it's still going to be just as effective. However, it's gonna give you less of those side effects and that irritation. Moving on to a personal question is going to be from Fatima, I, that's a beautiful name, and by the way, your profile pic that I'm seeing right now, you look stunning. That makeup looks flawless and your chin is so pointy, your lips so pouty, love that. A little bit of a weird question, favorite part of your body? Well, without a doubt, my favorite part of my body is going to be my juicy fat ass. I'm kidding, it's not going to be that. Do you mean natural part of my body or fake? Because if it's fake, then I really like my lips right now and I'm also really liking my chin. But if it's real, then I don't like anything on my body that's real. That's why I'm changing everything and having a lot of plastic surgery. Okay. Another question from Fatima is also going to be, did you pay for your surgery and fillers? Do you have a job? Are you a model? Are you a model? Every day somebody thinks I'm Beyonce. <laughs> you don't look like Beyonce, I'm sorry. I don't know who told you that to try to get in your panties, but it's not true. No, I'm not a model, Fatima. Thank you so much for um, kindly lying to my face like that. <laughs> right now I'm using the Centella Green Level Buffet Serum from Purito. It's basically the serum version of the famous, iconic Purito Green Level and Scented sunscreen. It also has the same smell of the scented version. And truly, if you didn't know, Centella Asiatica is so soothing to the skin. This also contains green tea, which does have a little bit of, of antioxidant potential in it. And I know that my cat did not pick this either, but once again, I'm cheating and applying this as well because today is going to be all soothing and counteracting this. That unfortunately, my cat, not knowing anything, has given me this and an AHA toner, let's not forget, and that disgusting Jeju cleanser. But yeah, so I did pay myself with my own money for the fillers that I've got, and they have fillers on the lips, cheeks, chin, jaw. And also I used to get Botox done, but then I stopped, but I'm gonna start again in September. And then I did get two nose jobs for which my parents paid, but I'm going to get my third one and my teeth done next year with my own money. You know, I was held at gunpoint with Junior Princess in South Africa. Yeah. Um, my mum being told she was dying. My German Shepherd got killed on my driveway. My horse got killed outside my house on the dual carriageway. Harvey had a kidnap threat. Then I caught my husband cheating again. I'm crazy about surgery, love plastic surgery. It's honestly comes from insecurity and not being happy with what I look. And it all goes down to me not having had anyone like me, uh, just m me, like being attracted to me, not anyone ever wanting to take me to on a date, never having had a boyfriend. When I log on dating apps, no one really seems to be attracted or interested in me. But honestly, I'm not gonna get into that. that is a whole nother topic, a whole other 30 minute video, which I am gonna make later on when I get more comfortable and I'm able to just, you know, open up to the whole entire world, YouTube in general. All I need to know is that I'm insecure about the way I look 
because I've never had anyone interested in me. I'm like, well, if no one likes me, it must not be because of the personality because I do feel like I do have a great personality. Therefore, one plus one is two, two plus two is four. The only thing left is going to be my appearance. Therefore, let me go change that real quick. And yeah, but I'm getting a lot of these surgeries done. Nothing is changing. Like, I'm still single. No one still likes me. And so I just keep going. And, and I feel like I never will stop, even though I know that I don't necessarily need them. I never will stop until... I find someone. I know that it's very toxic. I know that it's very bad. I'm even shocked that I'm admitting it right now in front of the camera, which I wasn't ready for, but apparently I'm a blabber and so I'm saying it, but I will stop right now, I promise. And so, yeah, let me just shut up and let's continue with answering some other questions. <sighs> Delete it and we'll talk about that later on, sis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to another skincare question, and that is going to be from Lucy Draws. Hey, baby. She is, by the way, one of my Italian fans. I love you, baby. Mwah. Best retinol product for beginners? This is a great question. I'd like to start using it for my acne. Okay, retinol is also very good for acne because it speeds up, once again, the cell turnover rate. It also cleans your pores from dead skin cells and any just excess sebum you might have. And by the way, finally, I'm going to be going in with the Nip and Fab Salicylic Acid um, 2%. This this is amazing for acne prone oily skin. It will reduce your sebum. It will clean your skin from the inside out, removes blackheads, removes whiteheads, removes and prevents future breakouts. Don't look at my skin now once again because it is crazy. I've been eating very badly. A lot of dairy and a lot of chocolate and that is why. But honestly to answer your question, depending on how strong and how bad of an acne you have, a lot of dermatologists actually prescribe people that are struggling from severe acne to get on a tretinoin. You can't get it over the counter. The closest thing to that is going to be different in the United States. Oh, 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 it's stinging my skin. We love that. Yep, all that soothing still didn't do enough. But so if you don't want to get on a prescription retinol, then I really recommend you start very slowly. Uh, you can start with the Ordinary line. That's amazing. I don't recommend the Gren Actives just because they're just not as strong and effective as the retinol, pure retinol ones. So I really recommend you get on the retinol line instead. Oh my God, I literally... I literally just realized that I'm not even done because I have to apply a vitamin C on top of a salicylic acid. What is this routine? Nerino, should I mix them or should I not? Because by the way, guys, if you don't know, you should never mix vitamin C's with acid just because they have different pHs and therefore the salicylic acid will make the vitamin C less effective, yes, but also it is very irritating to the skin. So do I want to do that to my skin and sleep in it? Because this is a nighttime skin routine, by the way. So will be how to keeping this on for literally like eight hours. Well, I mean, the point of this video is making my cat decide even if it did go very badly, which it did. Oh my God, you guys, I don't want to do it. No, I'm scared. I don't want to do it. No, 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 no. <sighs> You know what? No, Mateo, in true Mateo crazy random style, be random, always be random. I'm going to be applying this. This is it. Here we go. My God, this does not feel right. My skin literally, oh no, 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 no. Guys, oh my God, no, this does not feel good. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Anyways, while I wait for my serums to dry up before I actually go in with the aloe vera gel, I'm going to be answering another personal question and that is going to be from Sui Chu. And the question is, your hands look nice. Thank you so much. Actually, I'm very proud of my hands. You ain't gonna see these hands on anybody else. Come on. I actually use these, which are moisturizing gloves. I literally sleep with these babies on every single night. Yes, even with 35 degrees Celsius here in Italy. Yes, even in the summer. I actually use a very thick moisturizer, whether it be the CeraVe, not the lotion version, but in the tub or the Cetaphil moisturizer in the tub. That is once again very well. And you can also use AHAs on your skin like glycolic acid or lactic acid. You can also use retinols on your hand, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you use a an expensive serum or a cream they use on your face. What you can use is more so cheaper ones, like whether it be a bio oil, because bio oil actually has retinol in it if you had no idea. Yes, it does. Anyways, moving on to another skincare question. This is going to be from Ditu Shroff. I love you so much. Mwah! She's actually so supportive of me. I knew subscriber that she came off from TikTok and we started talking and ever since, I love her. But anyways, you look stunning. You're 
you're beautiful. Sis, you already know I told you already, but she asks, are facial rollers, gua sha's any good? Yes, they are. I literally always say all the entire time. Now, I literally look the part of a housewife going to wash her clothes in the river. But anyways, face rollers and gua sha's are amazing because they actually drain the lymphatic system and basically it's going to deep puff. It's also going to reduce redness and inflammation if you have any. It's also going to help with relieving headaches as well as firming up the skin if you use gua sha's and roll them up the correct way. By the way, the aloe vera gel that I'm using right now and I really recommend you get yourself in an aloe vera gel, especially right now in the summer, but honestly all your lungs Amazing. This is from Nature Republic, the aloe vera 92% gel, and this is 300 ml. And honestly, it was like 10 pounds. It's amazing. It literally will last you like two months if you use it both morning and night like I do. It's amazing because it soothes the redness. Hi. It also will help reduce inflammation, which once again, I have. But it just is so soothing and also a little bit moisturizing. Once again, with the remaining of whatever it be, in this case, aloe vera, just blend it down your neck and also on your hands. We want those hands and neck you full looking because the hands and neck are, as I always say, they're one of the first places on your body to start aging. Truly my oldest enemy ever is, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, time. Keep your friends close, but your enemies a lot closer. We are not friends. We have never been friends. Don't. Absolutely not. What? This is not a game. I'm not playing. How dare it disrespect me like that in front of my children coming in my house while I'm cleaning my clothes in the river. Don't you dare ever do that again. Moving on, another skincare question while I'm literally bathing in this one liter bottle of CeraVe moisturizing lotion. By the way, this will probably last me two months. If so, maybe just like literally one month. <laughs> Don't drag me in the comments. This question comes from Maria Bellella. I'm sorry for butchering your name, but your profile picture looks amazing. Literally so snatched, you are probably natural, even though you look fake, and for that, I already hate you. And all the pretty natural ladies that are watching as well, I hate you too. Yes, I do, because how dare you give me insecurities like that? You do, you know how much money I had to spend to look like this. And you look like that for free? You are just gracing the earth like that for free. No, that is just straight up disrespectful. You, what you need to do is lock yourself in your house. Do not go out because you need to let the other people breathe and let the other people get a chance at life and at romance and at love. That is why I'm single. That is why I never had a boyfriend. That is why because there's people like you outside. Why would they want me when they have you? Honestly, period. <laughs> Period. But anyways, the question that our Maria is asking is prevention for wrinkles around the mouth. Yes, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Retinols, of course. You want to use your anti-aging products, but I have already stated, but also if you are using straws like that, any puckering of your mouth is going to be your worst enemy. So do not use straws like that mm -mm, because it's creating lines. Do not absolutely smoke. Hello, smoking is going to age you like crazy. So also drinking and also the best prevention while I'm squeezing this out is going to be using a little bit of Botox. Now, for my ladies who are not into plastic surgery as much as I am, yes, Botox can literally be used anywhere. It is not just only here, here, under your eyes, whatever. That is just the classical most used for. To prevent fine lines here, you can use Botox on the DAO muscle, which is going to be this one right here. And also, there is a muscle right here, which is the orbicularis oris. And what you can do is not inject it with Botox, which is basically going to freeze your mouth and you won't be able to speak or smile. What you can do is also inject a a little bit of filler right here on top of the upper lip and basically that will fill out the gaps that are in the wrinkles and smooth out your skin but that is more so when you already have worn those wrinkles so to prevent is only Botox on the DAO muscle. Oh my god this question that Ange.fizzle asks, but she looks, that curly hair, that smile that I can see, those brows, they're so snatched to the gods, but especially the hair. And the boobs as well, since you've got a, an amazing pair of boobs, let me tell you. Oh my god, I wish I had them. Those boobies right there, they, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. See, this is another reason why I'm single, because I do not got them boobies like that. What's your type? Do you mean my type of man? First of all, he has to be masculine. That is really important because I don't know if you have noticed and if you haven't, you're probably either deaf, blind, or both. I am um, very gay. And so truly, I would like a guy that is the opposite of me. So very masculine, the traditional, you know, more top masculine, muscular guy, preferably with muscles, yes. I'm quite ashamed to be so superficial that I also take into account personality, but I have to admit that sometimes it's also nice to have someone to relate to. So you would have 
have to be funny. He would have to be able to stand me and that is a very big question mark because not a lot of people can. I remember seeing a moisturizer question and it would be nice for me to actually include it while I'm moisturizing. That would be very fancy of me to do. So let me just pull it up. Here it is. It's from Raweya. First of all, sis, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but second of all, do we want to look up at that face? She literally is, is they're like, Yes, Sarmas looks. Let all the boys be jealous. That is what you have to do. Well, is that a filter or is that your beat face? Either way, point period, since you have made several points today. Thank you for inviting us to your TED talk. But anyways, the question is going to be, can people with oily skin use a moisturizer? Ray. You have the audacity to ask me this very question. Yes, of course. As I always say, you guys, it is important that you moisturize your skin, no matter your skin type. Because let me tell you, if you don't moisturize, even if you have oily skin, guess what? Your skin will become dehydrated. And when your skin is dehydrated, your sebum glands will actually go in overproduction of oil to compensate for the dehydration of skin and therefore produce even more oil and get you even more oily skin. Okay, guys, so I'm down to the last tab after two layers of the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. And this is going to be my final layer of moisturizers, I swear, I promise in Jesus name. And this is going to be the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. I've already told you how I feel about that, but I have two questions left. See, this is meticulously planned. The last personal question is going to be from Shara B. First of all, sis, let's shall we look at this concept of the profile picture. It looks amazing. You look stunning. This face is B to the gods. Who's your, cr who's my crush? Um, do you really want to expose me like this in front of the whole entire YouTube? What if my crush is watching my vid- Well, no, he really doesn't care about me. He honestly does not even message me or like my pictures on Instagram ever. He probably doesn't even know I exist, so honestly. Um, she also continues to say, Why are you so interesting as a person? Honestly, I don't know what my secret is. I feel like I'm just naturally charming like that. Like some people are just born with beauty and some people are just born with the personality. And I feel like I was born with both. <laughs> He continues, by the way, much love. Love you too. Mwah. Let me go apply my The Ordinary while I'm here chit-chatting. But anyways, the last skincare question is going to be from De Pilis. First of all, he's one of my Italian subscribers and he is so much into skincare. We have such interesting skincare conversations all the time on Instagram. And he actually asked, favorite sunscreens? I'm glad you asked. Since it's summer, I'm gonna get you hooked on the best sunscreens in my opinion. First of all, as I already mentioned before, the Purito Centella Green Level and Scented Sunscreen that is amazing. I also do recommend, as I said in a previous video, the Skin and Lab Vitamin C. I also really love the Great Beauty Beat the Sun, and that is, I believe, also SPF 50. That is, once again, amazing. And I also really like the Dear Claire's Airy UVA Essence. I don't remember the name of it, but it is amazing. I feel, if I'm not mistaken, that one does contain alcohol, and for that reason, I did not necessarily like it the best, but it still is amazing. But you guys, honestly, I feel like I should say this one more time for the people in the back that are not watching. First of all, excuse me, could you please raise the volume of your phone, your computer, your device that you're watching me on because you need to hear this loud and clearly. You done that? Okay. So you need to wear sunscreen every day, okay? Whether it be sunny, snowy, windy, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, whatever, it because 90% of all skin damage and premature aging is caused by the sun. But anyways, I'm done with the questions. For the sake of my skin, I'm gonna close this moisturizing bottle because if it were for me and if no one told me anything, I would literally go on for two entire hours applying 70 layers of moisturizers. That is how much I like moisturizer. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this very just messy video, this unstructured, don't know where I was going video of here. I promise this was the messiest and just the most um, disgusting video that you will ever see on this channel. Definitely the lowest that I will touch. I will not go lower. Yeah, I'm probably lying. We both know that I'm lying. We both know that there's worse to come. But yeah, I would honestly love if you would join the Random Family and see what just disgusting videos I come up with. If you do want to connect on a deeper level and also see more skincare that you're not seeing over here, what you should do is follow me on my Instagram right here and also on my TikTok, both at my Ramden. And honestly, we can kiki and have fun. And also, if you have any issues at all with your skin and you want a little bit of help, do not hesitate to DM me. I would love to help you out. Mwah. But anyways, to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of videos 
this now. It's going to be the Italian word of the video. And since the video was all about Nerino, which is my cat, the Italian word of the video is going to be gatto, which is going to be cat in English. Ma'am, what you want to do is not click on this video. What you want to do right now is watch one of these two videos right here. Because sis, if you watch this far, you probably like me, okay? You, We have built a bond and you want to strengthen that bond. You want to work on that bond. So what you want to do is literally watch these two videos. That is going to help you doing that. But why do you let remember to be random and always be random? As I always say, life is better being random and I recommend you lose your mind because it was the only thing keeping me behind. Love you so much. Mwah! And click one of them to remember. Love you. Thank you so much for supporting me and possibly not canceling me with all the things that I said in this video.